Hey there, this is Garrett Sussman of AIPRM, and today in the world of prompting, we've got an epic one-click blog post, okay? So this is going to generate an entire blog post just by you providing the topic. How cool is that? So I've got a couple examples to show you how it works, but basically it's for AIPRM, which is a Chrome extension that's free to install. It works on top of ChatGPT. There are thousands of prompts in the library for all th sorts of things like marketing and sales and customer support and productivity. So for this marketing prompt to write blogs, to put on your website, to generate a lot of interest and inbound traffic from Google, I've got a couple examples to show you how it works. So first off, look, all it's asking for is the topic of the prompt. So I'm going to start off with a very simple how to grow a garden in Boulder, Colorado. So considering you're in Boulder, you run a nursery or you sell garden supplies, how do you how do you grow that garden? Let's get an entire blog post. Look at this thing go. So it gives us the title, it gives us the content brief, so it gives us the whole content outline, potential title tags, like we're looking at the blog post, the meta description for SEO, the introduction, you know, different headers and subheaders. Now, key clarification when it comes to this sort of stuff. Make sure if you are an expert, you know, working in a nursery, you know botany inside out, you know your plants, make sure you, you go through this and make sure it's accurate because ChatGPT is known to hallucinate. You don't want to put any incorrect information. So even though it's a one-click blog, you're still going to want to make sure that you are checking and reviewing and editing it. You don't want to ever really publish pure, raw, unedited AI generated content. But let's see a different example. Say you are an accountant, okay? So we want to do a really cool blog post. You know, what is a common question that someone is asking accountants? Usually around tax time, right? So 10 things to ask your accountant about your taxes. That sounds like a really good blog post for someone who's ultimately going to be looking for an accountant. And there we go again. We've got our header outline. We've got some really nice titles to work with, some meta descriptions. For those of you who aren't familiar, the meta description is basically this description you put on your website behind the scenes that shows up in the Google search results when your blog post ultimately ranks. It's you telling Google what you want the description underneath the title to be. Google doesn't always listen to that, but it'll help people more likely to click through and choose your article over anybody else's. So it gives the introduction and then it gives 10 different questions that are really good questions. What are the potential consequences of an IRS audit? I, I do not want to be audited. I would want to know how could I better organize my financial records for tax purposes? Such a good article. Okay, let's do one more. This one I think is, you know, if you've got kids, this is a, this is an important one. So this is for the clothing retailers and the boutiques is what if you want to have an article, the best time to buy fall clothes, which surprisingly probably is not in the fall, right? You probably want to do it in the summer or, or after the fall is over to get all of those discounts. So let's see. Okay. Long tail keywords, top level keywords. And this is really cool too. It highlights the fact that no matter what prompt you use, you'll see different outputs. So sometimes you might want to run these prompts multiple times to get different versions that you can then cut together. But ultimately think about how much time a prompt like this saves you to write the first draft of an article. And then, you know, you, you hire an editor, you get someone or you do it yourself to add a few little details, make sure everything's accurate, and boom, you could be doing this all the time. This is the type of prompt that you could use over and over and over again. So helpful. Shopping tips, conclusions, keep it short, sweet. I love that. There you go. So if you have any questions, check out AIPRM.com. You can add the Chrome extension for free. Start using any of these free prompts. Then as you get into it, you can build your own prompt library, save a couple of your favorites, even build prompts yourself. We actually have a bunch of tutorials if you want to learn more. And if you do have any questions, visit the AIPRM community forum and post a thread. We're always happy to help and answer any questions you have. Make sure you get the most out of this really cool Chrome extension. Catch you later.